managing your finances can feel overwhelming at times, but understanding how money works can be a huge asset. It can be even more helpful if you get started at a young age. Joining us now, Hugo Eckhart. Thanks so much for being here, Hugo. For having me. You're just in high school, right? Yes, ma'am. You were a senior. Yes. How did you get so, I don't know, I get this passion for finance? How did that start at such a young age? Yeah, so um, being a multiracial child of French and Japanese ethnicity, I've had the opportunity to explore different parts of the world. And now studying here at Milton Academy and being here for three years, I've visited different parts of the U.S. And everywhere I go, there's a problem of poverty and um, income, income inequality that I really wanted to address and make a change. But, you know, this problem is too big to attack. So I thought of the root cause, and that was the lack of financial literacy. Mm. So I wanted to create something that helped this lack of financial literacy for students age 15 to 21, which combined, you know, financial literacy, finance, and entrepreneurship all in one place. And how did you do that? You've developed this financial literacy app. Tell us about this. Yeah, so the app's called StockSense. Um, it's a financial literacy app for uh, students age 15 to 21 where, you know, I believe that's the best age for them to learn financial literacy or else it's, it's too late where, you know, you lose your money from um, college for debt, mm -hmm. um, don't know how to invest or anything. So basically I wanted to create this app and attack um, this app with the entrepreneurial mindset. And this app is, has a gamified element. So you know, you learn financial literacy, investing in entre entrepreneurship, but also have that... Um, it's more fun. It's more like fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, yeah. You, you just learn how to... You have fun while learning. So that was... Uh, that stock sense. In, That's uh, unbelievable. Yeah. And you were just at the State House lobbying. Uh, tell us why you were lobbying at the State House. Yeah, so uh, me and my COO, Simon Faruqi, we went to the State House here in Boston. Uh, last Wednesday for, uh, to testify for House Bill 4199, a bill uh, with, about financial literacy. To, it's a bill about for students, age, uh, students between 9th and 12th grade to take a standalone financial literacy course. So important. Mm. Um, under, uh, it, it was presented by Representative Ryan Hamilton. So that was, uh, that was pretty good, but uh, I was a bit nervous at that time. I bet, I bet. <laughs> you were 17, 18 years old? 17, yes. <laughs> So, <laughs> we're going to get some stock tips from him coming up. No, oh uh, what are your plans after graduation, other than eventually becoming president of the United States? <laughs> right. Before that, what are you going to do? Yeah. What's yeah so I have to serve. So I graduate June at, uh, in Milton, at Milton Academy, and then after that, I'll be serving for the National Army in Singapore. And during my time there for two years, I'll be, you know, trying to expand this app here in the United States, but also try to go global. Um, different parts in Europe and Asia wow. and, you know, help this policy of financial literacy and really make financial literacy a right and not a privilege. I'm going to have my 16-year-old hang out with you because <laughs> yeah. she doesn't know anything about any of this. So this is so important for teenagers. Hugo, thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you for having me. So